Hello and welcome to the News from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister today chaired the weekly Cabinet meeting held remotely. The Cabinet conveyed its sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the establishment of the Bahrain Defence Force. The Cabinet also congratulated the members of the Defence Establishment, all of whom stand ready and committed to defending the Kingdom and ensuring its security. The Cabinet reviewed COVID-19 developments, noting that the Kingdom's success relies upon a commitment to precautionary procedures and preventative measures. The Cabinet affirmed that the national duty and social responsibility require Team Bahrain, made up of citizens and residents, to protect Bahrain by applying these safety measures with greater commitment and to register for vaccination in the interests of themselves, their families and the community. The Cabinet discussed a number of memorandums during the meeting and outlined the following outcomes. Firstly, the approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a national terrorism lists and the implementation of Security Council resolutions relating to the prevention and suppression of terrorism and its financing and preventing the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction and its financing. Two. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the rules and procedures for the change of the legal entity of sports clubs into commercial companies and the establishment of a committee to oversee this change. 3. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding proposed support initiatives as part of Bahrain's economic stimulus package. Most notably support from the Labour Fund Tamkeen to provide 50% of the salaries of insured Bahrainis in private sector companies whose scope of activity remains suspended due to COVID-19 for a period of three months in coordination with the Tamkeen's business continuity programme. Additionally, these companies will be exempted from paying municipality fees and the tourism facilities will be exempted from paying tourism fees for a period of three months starting from January 2021. Four. A memorandum from the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Water Resources Council regarding the approval of the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Water Strategy and its 2030 Implementation Plan. 5. A memorandum from the Minister of Foreign Affairs regarding enhancing the contributions of Bahrainis in regional and international organisations through the Kingdom's official representation in these organisations. 6. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs regarding the government's response to five proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met remotely with the newly appointed Ambassador of India to Bahrain, Priya Shivastava. His Royal Highness stressed His Majesty the King's full support and commitment to Bahraini Indian relations. His Royal Highness noted that the ever-growing strategic partnership between Bahrain and India, especially during ongoing efforts to combat COVID-19. On this note, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended his appreciation for India's role in addressing the global pandemic and the success it has achieved in its pharmaceutical industry. His Royal Highness wished Srivastava success in his new role before discussing regional and international issues of common interest. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, will celebrate Bahraini Women's Day 2021, coinciding with the 20th anniversary of the SCW's establishment as a national monument concerned with following up on the advancement of Bahraini women. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the SCW, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, approved the theme of the Bahraini Women's Day 2021, which is Bahraini Women in the National Development, a march of progress in a dedicated nation. In a statement marking the occasion, the SCW said that the theme reflects the deep-rooted presence of Bahraini women in the nation-building process and its gradual progress with the development of the modern civil state in Bahrain, based on justice and equality in rights among citizens. The SEW lauded His Majesty the King's patronage of the occasion, reflecting the royal pride in and appreciation of Bahraini women's role in the National Development March. It highlighted the timing of the announcement of the theme of the 2021 Bahraini Women's Day, coinciding with celebrations of the Arab Women's Day 2021, 
noting that the move stems from Bahrain's commitment to supporting the advancement and empowerment of Arab women. The SEW also confirmed that its various programmes and activities will continue in light of the continuous spread of COVID-19 in order to preserve Bahraini women's gains and contribute to mitigating the effects of the pandemic. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 1 of 2021 on regulating the organisation of sports events. The edict stated that following the review of the Coordinating Committee's decision at its meeting regarding the approval of the proposal to extend the validity of edicts related to some precautionary measures and requirements to combat the coronavirus and other edicts related to the spread of the virus for an additional two months, it is forbidden to hold any sporting events or activities in the Kingdom without obtaining the prior approval of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. The Legal Affairs and Licences Department of the Ministry is the competent authority concerned with issuing the approval for the establishment of any sports events organised by any of the institutions, companies, clubs, sports federations, the Bahrain Olympic Committee, the Bahrain Paralympic Committee or any of the private bodies working in the field of youth and sports, described in the law of the associations, social and cultural clubs, private bodies working in the field of youth and sports and private institutions. The aforementioned administration exclusively shall, upon receiving a request to hold any sporting event or from any of the bodies mentioned in the previous article, address the security and health authorities and coordinate with the national medical team to combat the coronavirus to obtain the necessary approvals before notifying the requesting authority of the edict regarding the submitted application. The President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, SEA, Dr. Abdul Hussein Bil Ali Mirza, met remotely with the Middle East region of any global energy company, Fabrizio Bolondi. Dr. Mirza explained the historical ties between Bahrain and Italy in various fields, including renewable energy and energy efficiency, recalling the auspicious visit of His Majesty the King to Italy in July 2008, as well as the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in February 2020. The two parties discussed ENI's desire to participate in renewable energy and energy efficiency projects in Bahrain, based on the principle of global trends towards transition to clean and green energy. SEA President highlighted Bahrain's experience in the field of sustainable energy and energy efficiency and the role of His Majesty the King in encouraging the utilisation of clean energy. Blondie affirmed the company's keenness to invest in sustainable energy according to the opportunities available in Bahrain. He also expressed interest in close cooperation between the company and SEA to contribute to achieving the national goals in renewable energy and energy efficiency. Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani held a telephone call with his Egyptian counterpart at Sami Shukri. They discussed solid fraternal relations and cooperation between the two brotherly countries and ways of bolstering them. They also reviewed means of boosting joint coordination regarding current Arab and regional issues. Both ministers also reviewed the efforts made to promote pan-Arab work and reinforce solidarity between the Arab countries to serve their interests and national security. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,083 with 439 recoveries and 431 registered new cases. 204 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 218 are contacts of active cases and 9 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.